Once again, it is your host, Arachnid Soul, coming to you today with some major pro wrestling news. Before we get into it, do me a favor, hit that like, subscribe, and please share. So recently, we heard the big news that Sting was coming out of retirement. He's now wrestling for AEW. But the second biggest news story of the year, maybe the biggest news story of the year in the sport of professional wrestling, and I'm going to read the statement for you. This is from Alexander Fox. This is a statement from December 1st. Listen to this. Quote, we are WCW. We are rebooting the once popular promotion from the 90s. Our first event will be taking place in Lake Mary, a.k.a. Orlando, Florida, on October 10th, 2021, as well as all tapings, live events, and all shows will take place via at Skystorm, Inc. So that's basically a promotion company that's working with this new WCW. I'm glad to see that there is probably Alexander Fox, I'm guessing a multi-billionaire, might have, I'm going to take a guess, I'm going to say 50 billion. And he's working with Skystorm Inc., which probably in two years he's going to own. So it's nice to see things are gelling and really coming together. Mr. Fox continued, quote, We will bring back old and new faces in the 2021 reboot and are currently searching for independent wrestlers to join us full-time on the roster. Our email address is World Championship Wrestling. Anyway, you can find this online if you want to. I'm not going to give out the email address here. So this entrepreneur is looking for the best independent wrestling talent in the country. And to be honest with you, with the money that I think this guy has, he's probably going to buy out a lot of the contracts of the AEW wrestlers. He's probably going to buy out a lot of the contracts of the WWE wrestlers. And there's been a lot of talk and a lot of speculation and people saying that he does not own the intellectual property to WCW, to which he has made public the information that he has a working relationship with World Wrestling Entertainment, formerly World Wrestling Federation, and apparently he owns something like 50% of the WCW IPs. Now keep in mind, I'm a legal expert, I'm a genius at this stuff really, so basically 50% ownership means he's not going to legally be able to hold events under the WCW Thunder banner, but he can hold WCW Monday Nitro events. Now, as much as I love the vision that this guy has and how he's really gotten all his ducks in a row before he's gone public, he's also announced that the first pay-per-view will be WCW Greed, and that kind of makes me think, is this going to be a later-style WCW? I mean, WCW Greed was basically from the time period where WCW had gone way downhill. I'd like to see him go with more of a, a sold-out, maybe a Starcade and stay away from the kind of greed and new blood rising and mayhem. But I think this guy's on to something. I think this is going to catch on. He'll probably, to be honest with you, be able to do the first event in something like Arena Mexico. I mean, it's World Championship Wrestling. It's going to be international. Probably could sell out. What they could do, and I'm guessing this is the direction they're going to go, they're probably going to have an exclusive contract to host professional wrestling events in Madison Square Garden, and I think that's where they're going to kick it off. Right in the heart of NYC, right in the shadow of the Giants who play in New Jersey. Now, I did tell you that the production company that will be working with the legendary Mr. Fox is Skystorm Inc., now, it looks like they have issued a statement. Let's read this. I, I don't know what this is about. I'm sure this is going to be furthering the details about that partnership. Maybe we're going to learn about contracts and CEOs and CFOs. But anyway, let's listen to this. This is an official statement from Skystorm Inc. on the matter. We have not made any arrangements, partnerships, or agreements with WCW. We received email inquiry for production services on December 1st, earlier this morning, and have responded to the inquiry, but no discussion has been made as of yet. The posting of the Facebook and Twitter ads were done without our knowledge or consent. So what, I'm a little conf, that seems odd. You know, probably what they're doing is sometimes information leaks early, 
you don't have all the investors there and it really drives up the stock prices for the investors so they probably want to lock those people down before they go public with this i think fox jumped the gun a little bit but this seems on the up and up to me as a matter of fact here comes fox he's issued another statement let's see what this is about Alexander Fox, real name Alexander Komen, which to be honest with you, I think Komen's a better name. Alexander Fox is a kind of sleazy guy. I don't know. Alexander Komen? Like that just sounds like a dude that wears nice suits, made a lot of money. I can believe that's his real name because this is a dude right now. This guy hangs out with Jeff Bezos, all the rich people. Like you don't even know. This is one of the oligarchs right here. Anyway, Mr. Fox said, that the WCW 2021 and ECW 2021 accounts, that's right. This man is also bringing back Paul Heyman's Extreme Championship Wrestling, also working with the same production company. But anyway, let's go on. He says that the WCW and ECW accounts were started because he was playing WWE 2K20 with WCW stars. And let's hear a quote from him. I even started a Twitch account just for this. He said in a big revelation tweet. He then put blame on the internet wrestling community, Reddit, and he said that they made him do all of this. <sighs> Damn it. All right, let, let's get real. Let, let's, let's really talk about this. Oh, and... Fox continues, a.k.a. Komen. I hacked WWE's Facebook account a lot of times and was leaking some of the WWE and AEW plans on Reddit, and I'm proud of it. I will not forgive any of you. Because of you, my accounts are no more. I just tried to have some fun, and people seemed to like it. Plus, I'm in a depression because my girlfriend left me for an independent wrestler, and so because of this, I'll try my best to destroy the independent wrestling scene, never to be seen again. So basically, to sum this thing up, he was playing a WWE video game with WCW characters, and much like how the pay-per-view he was going to reboot was one of the trashy pay-per-views WCW greed, the WWE wrestling game of his choice from the 2K series, for some reason, is WWE 2K20. The other is that because his girlfriend left him for an independent wrestler, that he was going to destroy independent wrestling. So he was going to destroy independent wrestling by hacking into the Facebook accounts of WWE and trying to go after them and AEW, two companies that are not independent wrestling companies, although the wrestlers that work there are not employees, they're independent contractors. Go figure. Another story for another day. But the story gets even more interesting than that. There's two nuances here that I'm not seeing a lot of people talk about. One of them is when he talks about rebooting WCW in his original public statements, he gives an email address and he asks independent wrestlers to message him if they're interested in being part of this new promotion. How many independent wrestlers sent a guy who has also said he hacked into the WWE Facebook accounts a man who knows what he's doing on a computer, how many of those independent wrestlers sent him their email address and was he able to do anything with those? To be honest with you, I don't even know if he hacked into the WWE Facebook account because I start to doubt his credibility even in coming clean when I looked at his social media. So now he does have a social media page on Twitter. This is not the WCW or ECW page. This is his own page after he's come clean. I'm noticing that he says he has a girlfriend in his bio and the girlfriend is 16 and she's a social media influencer. So now I'm wondering how old Alexander Komen is because he sounds pretty young. He also reports that he has had death threats from this, which I mean, he's made up a lot of this stuff. So I don't know. But if that is going on, that's taken it way too far. Nobody wants WCW back more than I do, but I'm not willing to kill for it. This is an absolutely crazy professional wrestling story just because he wanted this thing to start off and be small. And it blew up so fast that he lost control of it. And then people who knew more about legal issues got involved on Reddit pretty soon and they were debunking this. 
WCW is not coming back in 2021, nor is ECW without the consent of World Wrestling Entertainment Incorporated. And that's just that. It has been your friend, Arachnid Soul. I'm going to go laugh at this story some more. The hardest part was me reading this stuff and not laughing. This killed me off air. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you for coming here. Keep the comments positive. Please don't fight. And I will catch all of you later.